Kinzinger is a serial liar and a serial crier. Somebody didn't get their nap and snack today. After Kevin McCarthy made good on his word to release all the January 6th footage, he announced that he'd be giving it to Tucker Carlson. <laughs> oh, no. Seems like a good choice, considering almost everyone else in the media is invested in a narrative, much of which is false. So they can't be trusted to report on facts that conflict with it. But fussy, pissy pants Kinzinger doesn't agree and had a full blown meltdown on Twitter over it. <laughs> so Kevin McCarthy shared the surveillance footage, not with the rest of Congress, investigators, or anyone like that. <laughs> it was Tucker Carlson. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, racist! The Elise defonketing of McCarthy has been breathtaking, and not the man I thought I knew before Trump lies, lies, lies. You and me. Uh, ever considered that you're the one with a problem? Your constituents seem to think so. Kinzinger just cannot help himself when it comes to public meltdowns and outright lying. For one, investigators have had this footage for years now, and members of Congress have seen it. Including you, Adam. Your little commie committee clown show could have released the footage, but for some reason didn't. Gee, I wonder why. I think that Adam and his Red Revolution comrades are worried that Tucker's gonna find something that they purposely covered up. This rant did not end well for Piss Pants Adam, with a ratio tsunami reminding him of all these facts and more. Well, it sounds like the fraudulent J6 committee that was actually a big joke is getting a little concerned about stuff you guys already knew and didn't share with anyone. <laughs> Congress had the video. <laughs> Adam Schiff and the J6 committee doctored text messages belonging to a sitting member of Congress and leaked them to the press. Now Democrats are crying about Tucker Carlson having access to J6 surveillance footage. <laughs> Raw footage given to the press for the American people to see truly treasonous. <laughs> the J6 committee could have released it whenever they wanted. So you and the other members of the committee hid the entire video from us. You just selectively showed bits and pieces, but McCarthy releases the entire thing to the most watched person in media. So we can all see it and he's the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> Adam's afraid he's gonna go to jail for his part in the commission's deceptive TV production. You're right. It's fact. And if you remember, they actually hired an ABC producer for this theater. You had two years to release the footage. You didn't, but you sure did stitch together some great propaganda clips to share with the world. So it seems you're accusing Tucker Carlson of potentially going to do what you've already done. <laughs> Exactly, and this all really comes down to that. Why didn't they share this footage when they could have? Instead, they dragged their feet for as long as they could. Especially when it comes to characters like Ray Epps, who the J6 committee and Democrat state media all mind-blowingly rushed to defend as a victim. The guy who literally is on video inciting a riot is the victim somehow. Mr. Epps was in front of the January 6th committee and we were told that a transcript of his interview would be released, but it's never been released. And I wondered, was he sworn None in? of the transcripts have been released, so you don't need a conspiracy theory about that. We haven't so, released any of them. Were you present when he was interviewed? That would give me... No, I was not. I was not. We've done more than a thousand interviews. You guys are trying to make this poor schmuck who showed up to your protest into something a lot bigger than he is. Okay, he's just trying to survive and he's on your side. You don't have many voters left. You might want to try to hang on to them without demonizing and vilifying your own people. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. No, I'm sorry. None of this makes any sense and is likely the reason they're all going crazy right now. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I do want to let you all know that if you like this Brian Stelter shirt, it is live right now on my Teespring store. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.